Over $30 million has been pledged by the Ministry of Sports towards the preparation of the World Athletics Championships and the J3's National Senior and Junior Championships. The announcement was made at Thursday morning's launch of the national trials. More in this report. Minister of Sport Olivia Grange says that through the Sports Development Foundation, $35 million will be given to track and field's local governing body, the J3As, for upcoming events. $10 million will be given to stage the national senior and junior trials, while $25 million will go towards preparation for the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. This year's trial is very exciting. Um, we have some really new, young and upcoming athletes. So you can see the changing of the guard at this time. But there are those who are established, who are still um, still in their prime and who I expect to give sterling performances. President of the J3A's Garth Gale is urging spectators to fill the stands in what he expects to be an exciting championships. When you look at the 100 meters, men and women, the 110 hurdles, the 100 hurdles female, and matched with the field events that has been growing leaps and bones, the collegiate athletes that are now making their way, not only in competition at the CAC currently, but will be coming here to Jamaica to join with those that are trained there. World Championship discuss silver medalist Frederick Dakers and the Commonwealth Games high jump bronze medalist Kimberly Williamson are ready to deliver at the trials. I honestly think I'm in the best shape of my life, you know, just some small, you know, niggles. Um, I was slowed by, a, you know, a slight grind injury, but um, I'm good now. I can't complain at all. I feel good. I am healthy, so that is good. Um, training has been going well, and we've just been working on a lot of little technical things right now. So hopefully coming, going into nationals, everything will fall into place. The national championships will run from July 6 to 9.